My name is Jonathan Dagan, J Views. I'm a producer based in Brooklyn and I make electronic music. I usually gravitate towards the analog, the tapey, the combination with found sounds and acoustic instruments. He brought me a plug in today that I'm going to unbox kaleidoscopes from Wave. What we're going to do is actually just um, play around with this new plugin. It has uh, four effects and two sections, the dual cascade of the plugin. Very exciting uh, options in the plugin. I'm excited to see what kind of music can come out of that. Just going to record things and see what happens. There's so many of those traditional sounds that we can kind of like explore and see how those behave uh, with kaleidoscopes. And then there is uh, non-traditional sounds. For example, I just filled it up uh, before with water and it was like, just going like that. And I was like, wow, this is incredibly um, immersive sounding. I'm gonna start with that and see what it does, you know? So now this uh, little water bottle is going through the flanger. First thing that I heard is that it does have some human or organic or more like analog flanger sounding kind of thing. And it's really beautiful on the water bottle. Some reverb. Where's my little wine? Isn't that cool? So now we have the phaser on it. This is actually cool. This is like a very it could be a beginning of a very crunchy clap with the phaser. Okay, let's try another thing with this phaser now. Interesting. Nice. Now it's starting to have that retro-y vibe. Okay, let's see what kaleidoscopes on this Prophet sound. I love it. Instead of having the phaser move by itself, we're gonna actually automate it. As you can see, the automation here corresponds to this. to this phaser right here, to the minimum and maximum values, uh, or adjust the maximum. I like the automation on the phaser. Let's get a little bit of whatever drum into it. Hold on. So now there's something really beautiful between the um, 
that clap of the water of the can and the I'm gonna try to create some of those not not the actual base but the base leftovers let's put the kaleidoscope of the base on sidechain mode that means the trigger can use the sidechain and also the movement the modulator can use the sidechain and let's take the bass drum and the snare to um, feed into the sidechain of the bass. So we have phasers on so many things. We have the flanger. You know, a retro type of chorus is something that this track is screaming, basically. Okay. I love it. I want to take the kaleidoscopes on the bass on the new base, on the Model D. And then I want to try something. What if we put the tremolo on it and we're going to have it triggered by the hi-hat, right? Like maybe we're going to, because the hi-hat is doing this. It's a cool movement for this like low to mid-tempo track. Let's see what it can do if I slap it on the bass. So now the hi-hat is actually moving the bass, which is pretty cool. Now we're gonna try it in through mode. So through mode is made for guitarists that love having dry signal on left or right and uh, effect signal on the other side. The modulator is what modulate the sounds, right? Basically, the shape that the modular, modulator has uh, determines basically the flow of what it sounds like, the tremolo, if it's like, ah, 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 or it's like, wah, 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 without the pitch changing. So basically, they made something really interesting that is called the absolute sign, which only goes upwards. Now, I want to automate this. So we're going to... It's going to slowly grow. What I'm trying to do now is to get a little bit of a radical uh, resonance from the phaser, put on a parallel channel in the, um, in the master, and kind of like blend it in and have it phase the entire track. I'll solo only the phaser. In drastic, but so beautiful. Do you feel like it's speaking? Like yeah. it has a little bit of um, of a vowel to it. And now I'm gonna blend in uh, the dry. Loving this so much. Okay, let's go to something completely different. Let's see what's up with the real retro uh, vibe of the chorus. Beautiful. 
Let's see. So I love the chorus on this, and I'm just wondering what happens if I add, let's say, two tremolos that have different rhythms on the dual cascade screen. This is the right speaker, and this is the left one. Together, they have a really interesting rhythm. But I'm still not finding the sound for it. Oh. All right, so now we have kaleidoscopes on mm, all of the channels, including the master, and the master has a few of them. I'm extremely happy with this. It's a really, really beautiful biting sound in the mid-range. The low end is beautiful. The low end of that plugin is beautiful. Uh, the knobs feel buttery and uh, very subtle in their movement, which I really, really admire and love. I'm proud this plugin is very inspiring and inspired this little segment, which I might actually turn into an actual song. Yeah, this is my day with Kaleidoscope. Mm -hmm.